thank you, uh, everybody. Welcome. You are all now ninth graders. So, as you know, the COVID pandemic has made school a little bit different um, this year and really starting about a year ago. But I think, folks, the good news is there does seem to be some, some light in the tunnel um, or light at the end of the tunnel. Um, the, the numbers of new infections are going down, which is good. Um, as you know, some people are, are starting to get vaccinated and um, some of your, the teachers in the school have been vaccinated, so that has started. You know, we're not, we're not out of the woods yet with the pandemic, but I think um, there is reason to be optimistic that if things continue in the same sort of direction, um, we might be able to have school next year that's a lot more like normal than this year. I would expect the rest of this year to be pretty similar. We're going to have masks on. We'll be keeping you apart in the cafeteria. When we have events in the auditorium, it'll be like this. The population will be somewhat diminished. But um, it does look like we're heading in the right direction. Um, and hopefully, you know, by next September, things can be a little bit more, more normal. So saying that, we've done everything we can to keep things as normal as possible. And last year, we couldn't have this ceremony of COVID, but we at least want to do something. Um, we don't want to uh, just pretend that you were not eighth graders last year and you didn't move up to ninth grade. We want to do something to, to celebrate you going from middle school to high school. So we're having this ceremony now. Uh, it's probably a year late, but you deserve it. You made it, You're ninth graders. Hopefully it's not a little bit too anticlimactic, but we want to celebrate you. So welcome to our, our eighth grade moving up ceremony. You are now ninth graders. Um, Mr. Miller, up ceremony, certificates, some rounds of applause, and it's all an appreciation for the hard work you did to become high school students here at BK. So thank you, Mr. Miller. Mr. Geraci, okay, I'm gonna need everybody's help in the audience because there's not very many of you. When you clap, you're gonna have to clap loud, all right? So good afternoon, students, faculty, and everyone watching at home or at work. Welcome to our Bishop Carney Class of 2024 Moving Up Ceremony. We are here to congratulate, celebrate, and award you Bishop Carney students for your successes in the classroom. At this time, as we begin, please welcome Kayla Gauz and Celestin Kasinge to the podium to give the student welcome. Kayla and Celestin. Good afternoon. We would like to welcome classmates, friends, and families. Bishop Carney Moving Up Ceremony for Class of 2024 and Academic Ceremony. I'm Celestin Kasinge and this is Kayla Goss. We are just two students from Bishop Carney Middle School Class of 2020 and High School Class of 2024. I am excited and pleased to welcome you all to this special ceremony. My fellow students and I have worked so hard throughout the middle school of to this point. From deep within mentors, administrators, volunteers, and most importantly, helping us. Through our schoolwork and preparing us for high school. Without you, we wouldn't even been able to get out of bed let alone make it this far. Through these past three years, my classmates and I have learned to work hard, study, stay organized, and take us Going to school here at BK was not just about doing schoolwork and studying. We're here to make new friends, to interact with each other, and helps each we have had many funny moments and so many, wonder, so many wonderful times that we cannot keep track of. I think that the best part of middle school was that we learned that it is okay to be yourself and that everyone is here, all unique, and we're all a very special part of the Carney family. 
there is so much for us to celebrate today. So let's get the party started. We will hear from a few classmates, our principal, and even honor kids with awards. But I think what I'm most excited for is, is that special feeling we all get when we across the stage tonight and we say, we did it. So once again, thank you to all who have supported us and congratulations to our fellow class. We would like to welcome Joshua Baraka and Caroline O'Gara to the stage for our prayer. As we begin all things at Bishop Carney, please join us in prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Father, we thank you so much for our time here together, for all the friends we have made, for all the days of laughter and fun, and for all the times of great discovery. We thank you for all the things you have given us. We are grateful for our teachers and mentors, our family and loved ones. Thank you for them as we ask you to bless them. As this chapter of our lives closes, so a new one begins. We present ourselves like an open book before you. Come and write your words of life into our lives. Fill our minds with your thoughts. Fill our bodies with your strength. Fill our hearts with your dreams. That we might serve you. Day and every day. We ask all of this in the glorious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bless him and rice. Pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts. Forever. A reading from Paul's letter to the Colossians. You are the people of God. He loved you and he chose you for his own. So then you will yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, tolerant with one another and forgive one another. Whenever any of you has a complaint against with against someone else, you must forgive one another just as the Lord has forgiven you. And to all these qualities and love, add love with which binds all things together in perfect unity. The peace that Christ gives is to guide you in the decisions you make, for it is this peace God has called you together in one body. And be thankful, Christ's message in all its richness must live in your hearts teach and instruct one another with all wisdom Psy palms hinds and sacred songs sing to god with thanksgiving in your hearts everything in everything you do or say then shall be done in the name of the lord jesus as you give thanks to him god the father the word of lord of lord all thanks be to god Caroline, Josh, at this time, it gives me great pleasure to bring to the stage our leader, our principal, for his first ever Bishop Carney eighth grade moving up ceremony speech. I'd like to bring back Mr. Geraci. So, my speech I already gave to you when I gave you the welcome. <laughs> um, so just to just to say again, things are different this year. That doesn't mean uh, I've been here very long. If for those of you who who don't know, I've only been here about a year and a half. Okay, and before that, I was in the public schools, and I can tell you that this is a very very special school. What makes it special is the students. And what about the students makes it special? It's really the way that you all treat each other. I have never seen such kindness and caring amongst the student population in my six years of being in schools. 
So if you've never been in another school and have only really been at Kearney, if most of you have been in another school before sixth grade, you may not realize how special a place this is as far as kindness and mutual respect. But I can tell you from somewhat of an outsider looking in, it really, really is special here. What makes it special is all of you. So please know that. Please know that the teachers here appreciate that. And please know that as something apart from all the other situations that I've been in over the last many, many years. You really are a special student population. So thank you, Mr. Miller. Thank you, Ms. Tracy. Sorry, I forgot my cheat sheet. At this time, I would like to announce and call up award winners for academic awards. On behalf of the faculty and administration, proud of you and all you have accomplished in middle school. Several students have stood out for their effort and their academic achievement while in the eighth grade. It is now time to announce those who have won these awards and recognize their achievements. As I call your name, please come up. Mr. Strauss will direct you. So as you hear your name for academic achievement in English 8, Dom Morozak. For overall effort in English 8, Finley McCarthy. For academic achievement in Math 8, Danielle Miller. For overall effort in Math 8, Riley cahill Steve. For academic achievement in Religion 8, Markel Freeman. And for overall effort in Religion 8, Celestin Kasinge. For o academic achievement in Science 8, Braden Gefell. For overall effort in Science 8, Riley Cahill Stieg. Hmm. Did I recall Riley? I'm sorry. You do have an extra award. You Way to go. Good job. Give him a round of applause for winning, too. There you go. For Academic Achievement in Social Studies 8, Christian Maniscalco, award receiver number. For overall effort in Social Studies 8, Giselle Nieves. For Academic Achievement in Geology Honors, Dominic Morozak. For Overall Effort in Geology Honors, Caroline O'Gara. For Academic Achievement in Finish 1, Christian Maniscalco. For overall effort in on Kayla Gauz. Y'all, y'all gotta help me with a clap, and I can't clap all the time. All right, there you go. For academic achievement in technology integration, Jaden and Sixame. For overall effort in technology integration, Anaya Rowe. For Academic Achievement in Latin, Caroline O'Gara. For, 
for overall effort in Latin, Danielle Miller. For academic achievement in band, Joshua Dodd. For overall effort in band, Celestin Singe. All right, each year we culminate our award selection of this ceremony by the Brother Edmund Rice Award. This recognition goes to one boy and one girl in that class that best exemplifies the ideals of Brother Edmund Rice. The students recognized have demonstrated qualities of honesty, determination, and community, as well as high academic achievement. These students truly live by our motto here at Bishop Carney, Benia, which means do all things well. This year's recipients of the Brother Edmund Rice Award are Caroline O'Gara and Dominic Morozak. Good job. Well done. Good job. to all award recipients. It is now time to look back on your middle school experience. For this, I would like to invite Christian Men and Danielle Miller to the podium to share their reflections. Good afternoon. I'm Christian Maniscoco and with me is Danielle Miller and we have been selected to write a reflection on our middle school experience. When I first came to Kearney, I thought the school was just all right, but with some help of Trevor, I slowly began to enjoy the school. If you're wondering why I didn't like the school at first, it's because I came for a summer school program before my sixth grade year. Summary of the story, me and my friend John got scolded for using the auditorium as a ramp. But when the actual school year started, like the school. With only 14 classmates, I had some really close friends. Friends like Josh, Jay, and Jalen, who I'm still close with. In seventh grade, we gained some new classmates and new friends, like Nathan and Celestin. One of my favorite experiences from that year is when Josh let our friend in Dukes cut his hair. He came in for to school for two weeks with a giant V on his head. Thank God his hair grew back, but now we're in eighth grade, and it started off normal. We had a soccer season, and everything was great until March 12th. When I first heard that we had a two-week break, I couldn't have been more excited. I went home and got on Xbox for like two weeks. But then those weeks turned to months, and then all of a sudden we were done with school. In those online months, I had a hard time doing my schoolwork, and I really didn't do my work till 11.30 when it was due at 12. But now we're all in ninth grade wearing masks, and I think everything's better and getting back to normal. On my first day of sixth grade, I remember clearly walking into the auditorium on orientation day and recognizing Kayla from shadowing the school on the same day. After taking my seat next to her, we awkwardly talked while waiting for Mr. Miller's new, famous new student orientation speech. I was very nervous to meet the rest of my classmates, but I was also very excited to start a new chapter in my life and at Bishop Kearney. Walking down the hallway into the sixth grade wing with Mrs. Aldridge leading all 14 of us for the first time made me feel super old. And now looking back at it, sixth grade was just the start of it all. In seventh grade, we gained a bunch of new classmates. I and everyone else tried to find our corn our core friend group, and where I met some of my closest friends now, Caroline, Riley, and Abby. Seventh grade, looking back at it now, was a hilarious year, and as for myself, but me and all of you made it through. At the end of seventh grade, we could only imagine what it would be like to be eighth graders and be the role models for the rest of the middle school. We waited middle school beginning to middle of the year felt so normal 
sitting together at lunch, sharing snacks in class, having homecoming, attending sporting events with friends, and overall just having a normal teenage life. But March 12th, I vividly asking Ms. about this virus and if we were going to go into a lockdown. Soon after, we were told it was just and everything was going back to normal. I remember other students and I kind of excited about hearing this news, and we know it was just not a two-week shutdown. We had to adjust from everyday, from everyday in person to online learning in three very long months. I, and I'm guessing a lot of you, also struggled to be motivated to do work while sitting in bed because I know I did. Yeah, not having spring sports, eighth grade DC trip, or eighth grade moving up ceremony during our eighth grade year was definitely devastating. But I have learned a lot about myself as a person over quarantine in middle, in, in middle school in general. The people who taught me how to learn more about myself and my personality were definitely all the teachers I have had in the past three years and all my classmates. I appreciate everyone who has ever done that for me and for others. As we are now in high school and all have completed the first semester with having the difficulty of COVID, you should be proud because it is not easy. Thank you to Danielle and Christian. We confer the certificates. I would like to acknowledge some people that are in this room besides the graduates. Um, if we could give a round of applause to Ms. Smith and Mr. Strauss for putting this together. Thank you very much. And we also have um, our videographers, our sound and our lights, uh, Dr. Uh, Merritt. Thank you all very much. <laughs> Mr. Dracy, family. Friends, it is now my honor possible to present to you those students who have successfully completed the eighth grade. Their requirements from Bishop Barney High School in two oh, it is February of twenty one. Applause. <laughs> Young man hurt his ankle is on crutches, but nonetheless needs to be recognized. Joshua Baraka. Edmari Binion. Riley Cahill, Joshua Dodds, Cameron Gauze, Kayla Gauze. Braden Cal, Abigail Helfer, Journey Eden, Jaden and Sixame, Zakar Johnson. Celestin Kasinge, Nathaniel Lewis, Christian Mascalco, Finley McCarthy, Danielle Miller. Richard Melenja, Dominic Morozak, Giselle Nieves, Ryan O'Gara, Dominic Parr. Giovanni Rosa, Anaya Rowe, Anaya 
Oscar Sims. And Chad Wilson. All right, graduates, please stand.